Hello, my name is Kirk Rosberg. I'm the Planetarium Coordinator here at the Hastings Museum. And today we're gonna to get up close with why Pluto is not considered a planet. So why is Pluto not a planet? Well, first, uh, a little bit of background. Pluto was discovered February 18, 1930, at the Lowell Observatory in Flagstaff, Arizona, by Kansas native astronomer Clyde W. Tombaugh. And uh, Pluto was immediately called a planet after that. And for many years after, many of us grew up thinking there were nine planets in the solar system. But Pluto's status as a major planet um, has always been somewhat shaky. In, uh, or on August 26, 2006, the International Astronomy Union, or IAU, downgraded Pluto to the status of dwarf planet. Uh, and this was also the same year that the New Horizons space probe, uh, probe was launched to Pluto, carrying some of the ashes of its discoverer, Clyde Tombaugh. Now, what sparked the debate over Pluto was um, the first spotting of Eris, uh, which was uh, originally spotted on August 21st, 2003, by Mike Brown and his associates. Um, and then it was uh, discovered, again, using ground-based telescopes in January 2005. Uh, it was temporarily named Xena after the warrior princess. And it was believed at the time that Xena, later named Eris, was larger than Pluto, which turned out not to be the case. Um, it is actually slightly smaller than Pluto. Well, debate began in 2005 over whether Eris should also be considered a planet. After all, Eris has a small moon orbiting around it. And so it was originally thought, I think, by many that we would end up having 10 planets in the solar system rather than nine. But the IAU had other ideas. They came up with new criteria necessary for an object to be called a major planet, and neither Pluto nor Eris or the other dwarf planets meet all three requirements. So officially, there are eight planets in the solar system. Now, what are the IAU criteria for a major planet? Well, one, it is in orbit around the sun, which makes sense. Two, it has sufficient mass to assume hydrostatic equilibrium, which means it is nearly round in shape. The third one, it has cleared the neighborhood around its orbit. Now, both Pluto and Eris and some of the other dwarf planets uh, do meet the first two criteria. But the third one, uh, none of these actually meet. It has cleared the neighborhood around its orbit. A planet must become gravitationally dominant so that there are no other bodies of similar size other than its own moon or moons in its region of space. Pluto actually shares its orbit with other Kuiper Belt objects, which are considered uh, are called the Plutinos or little Plutos or trans-Neptunian objects. So these are the actual reasons why Pluto is not considered a planet. Um, there's going to be a link to the Library of Congress uh, under its uh, Everyday Mysteries, which you can uh, see more information. And this is also uh, where we got a lot of our information here. Well, thank you for joining me today. And for more information and educational resources, go to HastingsMuseum.org.